Our second story tonight deals with the price of health care and maybe something of a warning signal to the insurance industry. As costs go up, insurance companies are becoming much more selective about what they pay for. In California, jury has awarded tens of millions of dollars to the family of a woman who died of breast cancer. Her doctor prescribed a particular kind of treatment. Her health maintenance organization said no. Here's ABC's Brian Rooney. In June of 1992, Nalene Fox organized a protest against her insurance company in a battle she couldn't afford to lose. I know that this is where my hope is, and that will give me um, the hope to, to live a life with my three girls and my husband. Thank you. Nalene Fox died seven months ago. Yesterday, a jury awarded her family nearly $90 million in compensation and punitive damages, the largest judgment ever levied against a health insurer. The California-based HMO HealthNet denied Fox a $150,000 bone marrow transplant, citing language in its coverage agreement that says it will not pay for experimental treatments. We thought we had the coverage, and then there's different language in there in different places. It's very difficult to find. Hopefully, this will send a message, a strong message to insurance companies that there needs to be some changes here. The family's lawyer, who is Nalene's brother, said the word experimental was a euphemism for too expensive to a health net executive who was paid a bonus for holding down costs the same reason you don't allow the same attorney to represent both sides in the case. The kind of independent judgment are you going to get? After the verdict, HealthNet said it tried to provide safe, proven, and effective treatment. There are no universal definitions as to what is experimental and what is accepted practice. Healthcare providers and insurance companies write their own rules and decide whether they'll follow them. We don't have sort of a Supreme Court of Medicine to decide this is now standard of care and this is still experimental. After weeks of delay, the lean fox did get a bone marrow transplant, paid for by donations. She spent the last months of her life fighting cancer and fighting the people she had hoped would save her. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles.